jointly developed by Smarty and Professor Shangong orthodontic team. S8 Mandibular Repositioning Technology for Mandibular Advancement is an important part of Smarty S8, S9, and S10 series mandibular repositioning solutions. S8 includes two structural forms, namely S8 SGTB and S8 SGHB. S8 SGTB is a clear version of bonded SGTB. On the base of the aligner, there are anatomical occlusal splints on each side of upper posterior teeth and locking appliances in the mandible. The interactive surfaces of the two is 70 degrees to the occlusal surface, and a prefabricated stiffener structure is used to enhance the strength of bite resistance. S8 SGHB is the clear version of the bonded herbs. On the base of the aligner, there are triangular locking appliances on posterior buccal sides of maxilla and mandible. The interactive surface of the two is about 90 degrees to the occlusal surface, and the prefabricated stiffener structure is used to enhance the strength of torsion resistance. The common mechanism of S8 SGTB and S8 SGHB is force mandibular advancement. The major difference between the two is the structure and position of the upper and lower interactive devices. The former is set between the occlusal surface of the upper and lower dentition, and the latter is set in the buccal side of the upper and lower dentition. In terms of indications, S8 SGTB is mainly used to treat physiologically three depths, deep overjet, deep overbite, and a deep curve of speed, accompanied by flat and horizontally rectangular mandibular body, including mandibular positioning originated combined subtype 1 and combined subtype 2 prognatism malocclusion. S8 SGHB is mainly used to treat joint originated malocclusion, including skeletally originated facial prognatism with mandibular retrusion caused by condylar resorption or mandibular deviation caused by condylar asymmetric resorption and skeletally originated facial retrognathism mandibular deviation caused by condylar asymmetric acromentition. In terms of mechanism, S8 SGTB is basically the same as S8 SGHB. In the sagittal direction, the muscle force generated by the mandibular advancement is transferred to the maxilla through the locking appliances to move the maxilla backward as a whole. In the vertical direction, the occlusal and anterior area is open. The posterior teeth area has a larger open bite due to the deep curve of speed, while the S8 SGHB posterior teeth area has a smaller open bite due to the shallow curve of speed. Horizontal expansion of the maxilla is conducted through fissure effect or posterior teeth decompensation. Condylar remodeling and new bone formation are induced in TMJ. In terms of clinical procedures, S8 SGTB is basically the same as S8 SGHB. The first stage, that is the stage with occlusal splint or locking appliances, the main treatment is mandibular repositioning and orthopedics. At the same time, orthodontic treatments such as crowding correction, molar distalization, anterior intrusion, posterior extrusion, etc. are carried out. The second stage of S8 clinical procedure, that is the stage without occlusal splint or locking appliances. The main treatment includes posterior intercuspation and precise adjustment of anterior teeth relationship. The key is to further flatten the deep mandibular curve of speed. Smarty S8 mandibular repositioning technology for mandibular advancement uses S8 SGTB to treat physiologically three depths prognatism malocclusion and S8 SGHB to treat joint originated prognatism malocclusion and mandibular deviation. The orthopedics and orthodontics are carried out simultaneously and occlusal reconstruction is achieved through mandibular repositioning which not only greatly improves the treatment efficiency but also scientifically expands the boundaries of invisible orthodontic technology.